Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making Polish potato babka. Babka ziemniaczana. Welcome back to my channel! My name is Anna and here I teach you how to make Polish food. Today we're going to be making a delicious Polish potato babka. Which is, I guess you could call it a potato cake. It's a savory cake. Uh, that we normally would serve as a side dish. Uh, maybe, perhaps, even a side dish to your Thanksgiving dinner. So let's get started. I have two and a half pounds of potatoes that I have peeled and diced. And I went for uh, quite a small dice because I want to use the blender today. And I always kind of go back and forth whether I should be showing you traditional Polish recipes done modern way and I had talked about it with my creative team which consists of my husband and I. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh at my jokes. I know laughing, I just <laughs> loud. Uh, and I decided to use the blender because why not? It's easier, I like my knuckles whole anyway. So we're going to use the blender today. So you're going to start by peeling and dicing your potatoes and then we're going to prepare the rest of the ingredients for our babka and then when everything's ready we'll put it together and we'll pop it in the oven. So now is also a good time to stir your oven at 350 Fahrenheit 180 Celsius. So I'm heating my pan here and into it I'm going to put in, I have some uh, about six ounces of nice quality bacon and I, I got mine uh, thick, cut thick at the butcher because why not? I want, I want to see it in my dish um, and I'm not even going to dice it small so I'm just going to go kind of rough, big dice and this isn't very fatty bacon either so if yours is a little bit more fatty, uh, it'll go in the pan without any grease. But I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of grease to this one. And I'm adding it to my hot pan. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. With a little bit of oil, I'm going to add. Whoopsie! And this will saute on here for just a couple of minutes to melt some of the fat. And since my bacon is so lean, I'm also adding at the same time about one and a half cup of uh, just regular white onion. And because, again, this is such lean bacon, I want to add just a little bit more grease. And you can do either butter or you can do oil. I just happen to have oil handy, so I'll just use that. And this will brown here for a few minutes. And then when we mix it with our batter, it'll kind of be show through nice big chunks of onion and big chunks of um, bacon. It'll flavor our babka very nicely. Our bacon and onion mixture is ready. There's still a little bit of fat in the bacon which that has not rendered, which I'm going to leave because I want it to kind of melt off and uh, get into the potato mixture while it's baking. So this is done. I'm going to just let it uh, sit over here on my stove. And we're going to proceed with the taters. <laughs> I have... Uh, the potatoes are draining here um, from just... I kept them in water the whole time I was preparing the rest of the ingredients so they don't turn brown on me. And a um, trick that I've learned in my home is that onions prevent potatoes from turning brown when you are grating them. And normally this would be used in a recipe for potato pancakes. But since we're blending the potatoes uh, for this recipe, and I like when the potato uh, d uh, batter it stays nice and uh, light, kind of yellowish, and doesn't turn brown. It's just more appetizing. <laughs> I 
Are you okay? Yeah. I'm gonna add the onion first. So that goes in my blender and I have about half of uh, medium onion. And I have two eggs. I'm gonna put those at the bottom so they help my blender kind of grab the potatoes. And then I have, uh, I think, what is this? I can't remember now. A quarter teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. -ish. So that goes in. My other sous chef over there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add the taters. And hopefully it'll grab them right away and and blend them. This is not a super high speed blender. Let's try that. chunks. I think that went for about what a minute, minute and a half maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just dip a spoon in there. You need Let's to see. invent the silent blender. Silent blender for videos. That, that looks like it's blended. And at this time too, to make it easier, I'm gonna add the flour. I could mix it in the bowl too, but this will probably blend better, eh? If it stays in there. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Move that to the side. And we are almost done with our uh, potato babka. How easy was that? If you're preparing Thanksgiving, easy dish. You can even make it ahead of time. And then I show you, I'll show you later how to serve it. That's gonna be even tastier than you imagined. And I'm pouring my batter here. And to it, <clears throat> I'm also gonna add something green. <laughs> I like parsley. And um, you could do thyme or rosemary if you wanted to. Um, and per personal preference, you can go as much as you want. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons, and then I'll mix it and see if I wanna add more. And then all of our um, onion and bacon mixture goes in. This is smelling all so great already. If only someone invented smell-o-vision. That's another thing I need to start working on. It'll be to our benefit. Only for cooking channels. Only for cooking channels. Yeah. Home renovation maybe not. <laughs> so this is looking really good. I like the green speckle speckles in it and I might add, I may add just a little bit more just because I like I like parsley and I want it to come through in my recipe. But that is it. How easy was this? Oven's going, and all it is to do is to transfer to a loaf pan. And I have lined mine with some parchment paper, and then I put um, a nice coating of butter on each end so it'll come out easy. And now we just transfer to our loaf pan. And this is what, 9 by 13, I believe. It comes all the way up to the, bo uh, to the top. A it's loaf a pan. Loaf pan. <laughs> and so this is pretty wet batter. So it has to bake for quite a bit. Uh, in my recipe, it says to bake it for an hour and a half. Check your oven. Uh, check it after an hour or so, hour 15. Uh, kind of feel it, see if it's still super jiggly and wet. I'll put a toothpick in 
uh, see if it's set. If not, let it go for a little bit longer. If you feel your top is browning a little bit too much, cover it with uh, tin foil and just let it bake for a little bit longer. So we'll see you back when this is done. My babka baked for an hour and 40 minutes. It takes a little bit to get the moisture out of it. And when done baking, you can just slice it and serve it with whatever you're having for dinner as a side or as the starch. Or what I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. <laughs> uh, mine has cooled uh, for a little while now, so I, it's kind of, you know, I can touch it. And I'm heating my pan here a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter. And I'm going to slice this. Let's turn this down a little bit. And I'm going to slice this into um, pieces about this big. And I'm going to take my slice and I'm going to put it face down into my warm butter. Oh, come on. Got nice pieces bacon. of bacon and onion. And this first piece will go face down like this. And then kind of keep the pieces thick. So it doesn't, my mouth's watering. This knife is not doing really well for me. Thick pieces onto the pan. And then you can do a number of things with, with this. You can serve eggs or serve with eggs right this will be more uh, american style breakfast. for breakfast you can i think i'm going to make this for thanksgiving this year maybe as a side i i know the look uh because it's nice and starchy and uh it goes super well, don't you think? It would go super well. It would. You put some turkey gravy on that, and you mix the turkey. So instead of smashed potatoes, you could do this. But I, you know, I like traditional. I know. Thanksgiving, but you can. I have grilled this before, also. Get my, some nice uh, grill marks on it. It gets that uh, smoky flavor from your uh, your grill. That works all, well, also. This. I can just eat this and I would be okay. <laughs> and when it's time, and you patiently have waited for it, you flip it and you get this. <laughs> Does that make you happy or what? Yes. I, who says that food doesn't make you happy? That makes me very happy. Makes me happy. <laughs> And just patiently move it around, let the butter get in there. This is a couple more minutes. And our patience has paid off. Here's a piece. Turn this off. I like mine with a little bit of ch um, a sprinkle of chives. And we already have parsley in there. And here it is. Potatoes good. They can go. <laughs> they can, go. <laughs> can we have this for Thanksgiving? No. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I haven't tasted it yet. So it's like potato pancakes on steroids. It has <laughs> that is so good. It has kind of a soft inside, like real uh, sweet babka, but not sweet. And the crust on the outside with the onions and bacon. What is there? Uh, what else is there to say? Just make it. Make it, try it, eat it, put it on your uh, repeat, repeat list in your kitchen. 
let me know how this turns out for you come see us again if you like my video please give me a like subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time smudge nego